Well, all of us have thought at one time or another of getting away from it all. Well, successful Brisbane artist Rick Everingham and his wife Desley have decided to pack up, to sell up and to move to Italy. Now, I know, Rick, through your paintings, you've had a love affair with Italy, but what's this? Well, this is the next step from what we've been doing for the last eight years. Um, we went to Italy in 1991 to do a, a painting trip and that was really successful and we just fell in love with the place. So each year we've gone back for a, for a visit for a couple of months. So now we've got the opportunity to go there and live there for a while and come back here for a visit for a couple of months. So you're not forsaking Brisbane entirely? No, not at all. We're just having a change of location for a while. Rick, from the artist's point of view, what is the appeal of Italy that's drawn you there to live? That's probably the most asked question of me. I just feel a, an absolute soul connection with with the buildings and the people and the, and the whole environment of Italy. Uh, there's lots of things there that, that don't operate as well as they operate in Australia, but there's, there's that combined with a, a wonderful depth of history and culture, and it really is the, the birthplace of, of our artistic heritage and, and our cultural heritage. Mm. And it, it just has such a wonderful feel. Australia doesn't have, obviously, the antiquity and the buildings that you're going to, you, that you seem to have quite an affair with. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't. Um, that's one of the problems I have with mm -hmm. Brisbane. I've been here for 30 years. And when I first came here, most of the buildings had lovely patinas. They ne all needed a good paint. And there was subject matter everywhere. And, uh, of course, now so much has been renovated and so much has been Italianized <laughs> that... Uh, um, I just find there's not as much subject matter in, in that sort of um, that field that I, that I uh, can find now. And it's refreshing for both of you in a relationship, isn't it, to make this sort of plunge? Oh, yes, I think so. <laughs> yes, it's great. Because yeah. we have lots of fun. You know, we really do. And when we go away, it's just a, it's just just, a crazy yeah, time, it just isn't it? It just flows on. You know, when you've been to Italy, can you describe to us the sort of uh, cultural pool that you found yourself in? Well, um, we've, been, we've been going there for eight years now and each time we go we, we widen our little network of, of friends and we've got people there that there's an English sculptor, we've got a, people we stay with, uh, her daughter's an opera singer, we've got some English people that renovate houses. Uh, last time we went we met a, um, a Dutchman that makes lutes uh, he lives in this house in a wonderful knoll with a New Zealand wife and he just hand makes these beautiful instruments just quietly the up in the hills. amazing position. Yeah, it's, it's stunning, isn't beautiful. it? It's beautiful. Well, it's presently you're, you're, you're without any abode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're on the street. <laughs> no fixed abode. We're on the streets. Yeah. What are you going to be looking for in Italy? Oh, something... I, my mm. picture is a little place with, with an area of land that has some character. I mean, something An old that, farmhouse? Oh, yes. Yeah. That sort of thing that yeah. we can really sink our teeth into. That's another mm. project that we can yeah. renovate. and. Yeah, we're really project people. And we'd finished the last place. We're looking for a place that possibly is, is close to a hill town or could be in a hill town. But it'll be a complex of buildings, very simple. But uh, it must have the raw materials and the feel that we want. And we'll know. We both we both know what we what we want to find. I think it's important that we're we're not separate from people, though, because the, one of the main things that appeals to us is the interaction with the people. And I mean, we've already even in San Gimignano, we we've gotten to know so many people, like the people at the bakery, and they're all really friendly. So and mm. the markets and being there mm. and being involved in that that community of that the Italians seem to, um, mm. they have it, it's beautiful. Well, I'm very envious. It sounds terribly romantic and very exhilarating and good luck to both of you. 